more the albums. For, for first, for example, the sound that is not like the previous album. So mm -hmm. what has changed? Uh, I think it's just you know a uh, growth for uh, Joey and I. Just eight years of um, just different ideas. You know, a lot of people realize that that first record were were songs that was from his old band and my old band smashed together. But it was songs we wrote when we were 20, 21 years old, and now we're in our 30s and things have changed and we listen to different stuff and we just wanted to incorporate a, a different sound and a different feel for the record and we didn't want to we didn't want to repeat ourselves that would be boring if we would have wait eight years for a record and get the exact same thing would be boring so and uh, in the in the first record the horror has got a very huge part so which is the part of uh, do you talk about what in the next record and then in the new record we talk about hate violence killing Drugs, drinking, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what a Murder Dolls record is all about. So, and um, do you think I take, take inspiration from your personal life? And, and yeah, that's where the hate comes from. Because a lot of a lot of, a lot of bad things have happened, so uh, we kind of use our music to get out those demons, so to speak. So instead of going down the street and punching someone in the face, we write a song and play music on stage. Sometimes we punch people. Yeah. Sometimes. But uh, musically or really? It always happened a couple times, both. But they asked for it. Oh, during the concert or whatever? No, no. no. Just on the street. For street fighters. You have been around with uh, your previous project, mm -hmm. that is your own project, mm -hmm. and uh, you have been around with uh, the Martin Girls. Which is the difference? of the approach of the people. So I think that uh, a lot of people know you bef first in the Mardi Gras and after yeah. your soul project. Yeah, yeah, that's how it all got started, you know, and I wouldn't be been able to do my solo stuff without Murder Dolls because no one knew who I was and uh, you know so I was very fortunate to be able to go and do that and tour and I toured from two thousand four up until you know, earlier this year, doing uh, Wednesday 13 stuff, but uh, you know, I, I never wanted to be a solo guy in the first place. I just, when Murder Dolls went on hiatus, it was either go back and do nothing or start something new. So uh, I decided to do my own thing, and I had fun with it. But you know, I really missed doing the Murder Dolls and being that we got it back together. It's been been really cool. Uh, nel nuovo disco ci c'è un ci sarà uno special guest d'eccezione. So you played uh, some songs that we played with by Nick Mars from the Motley Crue. Yes. So how did you get in touch with him? Um, our, uh, our, our tour manager uh, used to work for Motley Crue and um, he overheard Joey and I talking about just, we were just talking about music and, um, and we were talking about a guitar solo in particular for the new record and I said something like, oh this has a, this reminds me of a Mick Mars style and our tour manager said, well why don't you get him to play on it? So we called him and that's pretty much how it, how it worked and uh, he came in and did the songs and that was it, so. I need this. This honey, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I cool, I just thought I'd show up. And then, hey, hey, hey. I need this. Joey Dorsey, he needs this. I need this. I need this. Abbiamo avuto un'invasione di campo, come potete vedere, so can you greet our readers? Yeah, that's Joey. Okay. My bathroom bag. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much, Joy, and uh, thank you for Wednesday for being here. with us. And uh, can you greet our readers of yes. Musica Metal? Uh, Musica Metal? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's Wednesday 13 from the Murder Dolls, and you're watching Musica Metal. <laughs>